back in and play some Assetto Corsa with the Oculus Rift. But before I do that, I wanted to go over um, a little trick you can do to reduce the aliasing in the game. Because as many of you know with AA, or if you've tried it out with your Rift now, uh, you really need to run it without AA because if you put AA on in the game, you, you can't see the uh, the menu, the, the holographic menu, if you like. And if you put post-processing effect on, everything's really, really blurred. So uh, this little tri uh, trick here or tip might uh, be a good solution if you've got a fast computer to reduce the, the aliasing. Now, this little trick it uses the Oculus SDK for Windows to basically allow you to over render on the on the Oculus display. As a result, you, you are requiring your computer to render an even larger image and you will need a faster computer to do this. But um, it's very simple and I've just tested it and it does work. So all you need to do is download the Oculus SDK for Windows, in this case version 1.3.2. Uh, you just click on it on the Oculus Developer website, download that, and then once you've downloaded it, extract the uh, zip file to anywhere on your computer, and you want to load up the Oculus Debug Tool. Now this Debug Tool has a whole bunch of options, most of which you probably don't want to touch uh, unless you want to completely balk your, your Oculus Rift. So uh, all you need to do, or all you need to know about, is this pixel per display pixel override setting. And the higher you set this, the more it will over render, I believe, over the default Oculus resolution. Uh, I found by testing, if I put this on two, uh, it gets rid of pretty much all the uh, aliasing in game, uh, it makes things look very crisp and, and very anti aliased. Um, but uh, at two, my game starts rendering at about 55 frames per second on, on average, which isn't ideal. That kind of leans a bit more on, uh, on asynchronous time walk. And ideally, you want your game to be rendering at the full. 90 frames per second uh, so you don't have to go all the way to two or above you can just go uh, you know one 1.5 to two and then just see what settings happen to work for you uh, with your system and your specific scenario in the simulator and what you're doing because you know if you're if you're driving with a full grid of cars that's going to uh, be more demanding if you're just doing hot lapping for example um but you, so you just you just load this app up and you set your number on here that's all the only setting you want two or one or whatever and uh, you launch your game and when you launch in, you'll notice there's more anti-aliasing. As I say, the way this works is it's just over-rendering and then squeezing that onto the display. Uh, pretty much the same as if you, you know, if you're rendering a CG movie from from 3ds Max or something, or or do, doing a high-quality 3D render, you render at a very high resolution and then just uh, you, you, the end output, you you sort of squash it down. That gives you an effect of anti-aliasing, uh, a very expensive and, and time-consuming effect of anti-aliasing. But, but it generally works. So uh, there you go, Oculus Debug Tool. I hope this, this helps you um, get better quality if you've got a faster computer. For reference to say, I've got an i7 7600K and a GTX 970. Fortunately, Assetto Corsa is really well optimized and basically probably run on a graphic calculator. So you can get away with doing stuff like this. This app does work with uh, other Oculus applications and games. But again, it's, it's going to depend game to game how much uh, how, how, how heavy those games are as to how much you can do this and how fast your system is to allow you to do this. It's not the ideal way of doing anti-aliasing. It's very brute force. But uh, there you go. As I say, I hope that's useful and uh, lets you get rid of those jaggies. Don't forget to subscribe, like, have a biscuit. I'm going to have a cup of coffee and I'm going to jump into AC. I'll see you in the next video that we do. Goodbye.